always love that noise. Whoa, crap. I might even wear my safety goggles for this. It's, it's got a square knot in it. It's been fixed. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. Hello, my name is Nick. This is my little channel I like to call Sunday Driver Rides. And this is the star of the show, the 68 Firebird. Time to get back at it. Crack a lack and let's go. All right, I've got an itch. I want to get this car back down on wheels. I want to get it off this, the shell out of the, off the rotisserie. I want the subframe on it. I want this rear end back on it and I want it on the ground. Whew. It's gonna be hard to do considering I don't have tires for it yet and I don't have suspension hooked up to it. Yeah, <laughs> and I still need parts for the rear springs and I still gotta paint the rear springs. Okay, so this probably isn't realistic, but we're gonna go down trying. Um, I've got the front suspension, all new bushings, all new ball joints, all painted, all shiny, I'm all excited. And I got a spring compressor, Jeff. You know who you are. Thank you for letting me borrow that. I do appreciate it. So if I've got all that, let's start on that. I've got the subframe up in the air. Let's get these control arms on and get going on it. I kicked my wife's car out of here, so I had room. So I might as well utilize the space, right? Let's pull this some of this stuff out and uh, get going. All right, so I'm getting set up. I'm laying, you know, control arms out and all that fun stuff. So I got this side all put together. Well, not put together, but organized. Then I come over here and I'm grabbing, you know, I've got the lower control arm and then I grab the upper control arm and I went, wait a minute. Oh no. This is supposed to be in here. And I didn't press these in because I don't have a press here. So I forgot to put that in there for the upper control arm for the side. So you'll see, because this goes on to here like so. Great. That was a dumb move. Actually, I almost did it to the other side when I pressed these into the shop. Well, I guess I'll just put together that one side for now and get as far as I can on this side without that, which is not going to be very far. Dang it. All right, now that I've got that one side together, um, I'm about ready to put the spring in. Now, there are little pucks that you put up on top that go into that upper control arm, or not the upper control arm, into the spring perch on the frame, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I didn't buy that. Honestly, forgot to. And I thought about it and like, you know what? All those are rubber pucks. So I thought, you know what? What if I just take a piece of heater hose and Grease this up and slide it on there and get it around. Should work, shouldn't it? For a little bit at least. So, let's grease this sucker up, put it on. All right, there we go. Let's wipe off this little bit of grease on here. Cut the excess off. Should work, right? All right, now that I've got the control arms in place, uh, I've even got the spindle on the top control arm. I don't have any of it tight on the instructions for the bushings for the control arms. It said not to tighten them down until the engine or the whole car is sitting on the ground and then you tighten them up. Why, I don't know, just what it said on the instructions. So, but now it's time to compress this spring and install it. Now, this is the type 
of spring compressor I'm using. There are other types, you know, it's got the two rods on each side of it. I mean, anytime you can compress a rod or a, a compress a spring, it's dangerous. So you just gotta be careful. But I like this one. Uh, I've used this one before. It is, it, I feel like this is the most safe, you know. Still, when I compress it, you know, I'll tighten this up and it's got a thrust bearing here and then the two plates and it squishes the inside of it. And then I just tuck it in there connect my ball joints and slowly back this off. That's it in a nutshell. Obviously, you know, like I said, there's a lot of compressed energy here. I wanna keep this pointed away from me. I might even wear my safety goggles for this. Let's get it in. All right, I'll tighten this up as much as I can with the impact. All right, I just ran out of room. Guess I'm using the wrench from here on out. All right, much later, turned it in quite a bit. Let's see if it's just enough to get it in there. There's a chance it's not. If not, I just kind of tighten it more and until it fits. All right, let's hop on the struggle bus. Try to get this to work, huh? Keep it pointed away from me. Oh, not enough. Let's tighten it up more. All right, attempt number two. Come on, fit. You know you wanna. There we go, I like it. Cool. I got this sitting in the cradle as long as possible. And this control arm, which I think I do. All right, bring that down. Maybe that it reaches. And guess what? It doesn't. Oh, okay. That's safe, right? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out and tighten it up more. Scared you for a second, didn't I? Uh, this is something I just don't, you don't wanna mess with this with spring. I'm not going to get my head or anything anywhere near this sucker. Oh, oh. All right. Hopefully, this is the last time this goes in. Come on, get up in there. Hopefully, you're in all the way. Hopefully. If you are. Maybe. Oh, hello. This one's got a shot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got this. We got this. Oh. Put this nut on. I'll get these snug and I'll slowly loosen this off. And she'll be together. Like I said, I still gotta loosen or tighten these. But that's when the car gets put down on the ground according to the directions. They came with the bushings for the control arms. Good times, right? All right, now that that's in place, I can start loosening this just slowly. Just take my time with it. I wonder if I even have to hold it up. Look at that. Obviously, it tightened up my ball joints. Everything is, you know, in place. So I just do it slow and just see what happens. Just don't go crazy, that's all. She's going. Oh yeah, that was easy. Yeah, she's in. Put it down, lift it up. There should be a pin in there I take out. Get down a little lower. Get up. Pull the pin out and this whole thing drops. This can just come out the side. And I take out my bottom one. There it is. She's in. And I didn't die or lose a finger. All right. 
All right, so I've got that side done suspension wise. I can't do this side because I forgot to put in that one bar in the control arm, which I feel real smart about. So I'll have to do that later when I have access to a press. I gotta buy a press. There's all sorts of things I'm gonna buy for this place. So, I mean, I can put that lower control arm. I can put that, you know, that uh, holes on the end of the spring. I can do that. I figure what else could I do? I wanna work on the rear. You can see I pour 15 the uh, rear end on it. So, and I took apart the suspension obviously on it. Now, as I did that, I took a peek at this. And uh, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to have a bend in it. I don't think that's supposed to be cracked right there either. Come on, focus camera. It's cracked on the other end too. Nice. So I got new ones of those coming. Just more money to spend, that sucks. I shouldn't have to spend money on something dumb like that, but it's what happens when you over tighten things. Um, so I, man, I was, I was all excited to get all this together tonight. Man, I'm angry. Uh, what else can I do? <clears throat> I was gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put the wheel on, but I'm not gonna hook up any of the brakes. I'll put the vacuum plate on, but I won't do any of the brakes. I just wanna make this thing roll so I can get this thing going. So maybe I'll do that. I'll just get as far as I can tonight. And then, um, <laughs> I don't know, I could, I could rust proof or I could do pour 15 on the rear springs. I don't know, I'll just get as far as I can on stuff tonight and just call it and keep trucking later, I guess. What else can you do? All right, it's the next day. Uh, I stayed out here till about, but you close to one o'clock last night. So I'm dragging a bit today, but I got the springs painted and I got the steering painted. Poor 15 rust converted, whatever you want to call it. That's what I did. So I feel pretty good about that. Now I can put that into place and um, bolt that up. And then what I'm going to do is I can hook up my arms, my, my linkages for the steering to that, to that. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the bearings on and just the brake drum. I'm not going to put the brakes on. Now, some of you might be going, what are you doing? Just put the brakes together. I want to buy new brakes for it. They don't actually look half bad. Maybe I could run them, but, um, I just, I've been, it's around Christmas time. I've been spending a lot of money lately, I feel like, on this thing. And uh, the brakes can wait. I just, my goal is just to get this thing to roll. I can always do brakes later. So it's just, it'd be nice to get this out of the way and just have this and get the rotisserie out of here. You know what I mean? So it's, I'm just in space saving mode right now. That's all I'm in. So if I get that together, I can do that. And then the rims that I got, about a month or so ago from the junkyard, I can double check, make sure the linkage for the steering, you know, the tie rod ends don't hit it, yada, yada. And then I can, maybe I can order tires for it this week. Maybe. I'd like to get the rear axle under here first and make sure the one tire that I do have, everything fits, you know, because I mean, this isn't, I just made this metal for this. I didn't buy like a whole new quarter panel. So I hope I did it right <laughs> and didn't make, make it too tight for the tire. I guess we'll find out. But focus. Let's get the steering on and then just go from there, huh? pulled the rims that I'm going to plan on using on this car from out back let's see if it fits without hitting that tie rod in there no it does 
Well, man, it's just not gonna but you don't know until you try, right? I'm not about to buy tires for this thing without knowing that it fits. I can get it on. Come on. You're not on. There you go. Oh, all the room in the world. All the room in the world. All right. She's on. You know, I don't have it screwed down, but she's on all the way. Yeah, plenty of room for everything. Oh, everything. I love it. I, mean, I had a feeling it would fit, but... Well, I do. I think that's going to look sharp on this. <laughs> yes. I got you in. So, many days later, you can tell, I got this in this and this is good now. Not gonna work. Anyway, so I did, I got that control arm done. I got the spring in, I get the front wheels on. <laughs> a little excited, just a little bit. So let's, uh, let's get this over here cleaned up. Let's get this over there. Let's get this car. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say it. Let's get the car off the rotisserie, shall we? <laughs> big, big hot moment right here, people. Oh, <laughs> baby. Let's get it down. All right. So first step into getting this off the rotisserie is to make room for it. Thus, getting this contraption out of the way with this contraption. And this, obviously super safe. It's it's got a square knot in it. It's been fixed, so yeah, it's good. It's scout approved. So uh, let's lift this sucker up and uh, get out of the way. Holy crap! It's moving already. Come on, lift. Okay, lift all of it. Lift all of it. <laughs> oh, good. Stay. Get that out of the way. Let's drop this sucker, huh? Back down on the ground with wheels on it. Don't need that. And then I got wedged that tire wedged in there. I'll never get that out, but. She's down. All right, now she's down. Hey, look at that. It fell off just at the right time, didn't it? When it's on the ground. All right. Done. All right, now that I've got some room to work, uh, I'm gonna loosen up the bolts that hold the rotisserie and keep it in place. Um, I'll loosen them up and then uh, slowly let down the jacks. You know, it's probably the Push the jack up maybe a little bit on each side. That would probably help, right? Let me grab this and let's go up with it a little bit just to play it safe so she didn't all of a sudden just slam down. Oh yeah, look at the weight that's taking off that one. All right, let's loosen it up. Go down little by little. Here we go. Oh, it's not going down. Oh, there it goes. Oh. oh, I think I remember what I had to do last time. Get Betsy, the negotiator, out. Oh, yeah. 
All right, let's get this thing on jack stands. All right, so if I'm gonna be honest, I don't truly remember how I got this thing so high up on here. How did I do it? Oh, I know how I did it. I remember now. I think I, I think I put a bottle jack between here and here, and I slowly, I loosen these, and then this will come down. Yeah, do that on both sides, little by little, and it should come down more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is what I was talking about. I just got a, my little bottle jack between here and there. I'll loosen the bolts I got up here and slowly drop it. scare me at all, duh, honest. Of course, it's not coming down. Come on. All right, let's get the hammer. I always love it when I got to hit it and get it to go. Never makes me nervous or anything. All that good do the other side and just go back and forth little by little all right we got those bolts loose Let's see if this one moves on its own oh yeah it is very slowly come on keep going keep going nope you know what this one i think i'm gonna go almost all the way down, right there. I think that's as good as it's gonna get for this side. Let's finish the other side, and hopefully I can find a way to put a jack under this thing so I can fit the jack stands under it. All right, hopefully this is the last time with this. Look at that. Well, I was gonna say I don't have to even hit it, but it looks like I do. There, so I got enough room to get the jack out still. Tighten this back up, take that out, figure this out. All right, so get down here. <laughs> All right, so in the front here, I'll just put my jack on the pinch weld, drop it down. I'll, I'll put my jack on the pinch weld, make sure it's up off the ground, loosen this, loosen this bolt, obviously take it off. Drop it down, and I'll just have the jack stand on the pinch weld. I'll do the, the same thing, then I'll go to the other side, do the same thing, and pull out the uh, rotisserie. Then I'll come to the back, this frame rail right here, I'll jack up off this, put the jack stand on the pinch weld, drop it down, go to the same, other side, same thing, and pull out this side of the rotisserie. That should work, hopefully. Big moment. Oops, that's the noise. <laughs> that scared me a little bit, but I still kept going. Look at that. We're out. We're out. Oh yeah, all right, let's get the back one done. 
Okay, please clear of everything. Don't hit the car, Nick. Do not hit the car, once again, do not hit the car. Come on, out of there. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I know some of you might be thinking I'm too easily excited, but yeah, I'm easily excited. But you gotta remember, this thing's, this shell has been on the statistic for a long time. You know what I'm looking at? It's got a lot of tail weight. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, look at that. She could pop a wheelie without even having wheels on it. Scary. All right, let's get that subframe under it. All right, so I got the subframe in front of the car. It's just cool to see that, man. Oh, anyway, so I've got my, my four mounts set up. The taller ones, I believe, go in the front towards the firewall. The shorter ones going back. I'm just going to slide it under there, jack up on that cross member there. To get it up in place, I'm going to loosely set up the, uh, the bolts into the holes for everything. And then... Uh, I'll show you what I found online and who to look for to do this the quote unquote proper way. All right, oh, there's a little shoe. All right. Just go like so, I guess. Get out of my way, you son of a. I guess right there, that's it. Stay. All right, come on now. You're gonna work with me here. Go up there. Yeah, sure. Okay. Up we go. Stay there. Quit moving. Stop doing that. All right, let's shock them pro heels, huh? <laughs> all right, much later. You got the bolts all in, all four of them. I mean, I'm, they're just, you know, they're just loose, you know. They're started. But uh, so far, so good. They all line up. Now, I'll show you what I'm going to do to align the subframe to the frame. All right, now I got this idea from VVG Firebird Restoration Station. Uh, when I typed it up online, his video was one of the first one, if not the first one to come up. And it's actually, I think, pretty smart. So what you do is you take a quarter inch drive, 7 16 craftsman socket, and it fits real snugly and snug in here, snugly, snug, whatever, on the subframe. Now, because of the poor 15, how thick the paint was, I just took a file really lightly and quick and got it so mine fit in there real nice. So there's a hole in the subframe and then there's a hole in the shell itself too. There it is. Now, what he says to do, stick that thing up in there and you get this thing. Jeez, get your camera right now. Get your socket so it's perpendicular, squared up nice with the flat mount. And then that should be pretty close there. Do the same thing on that side. The hole on this side on the frame, he said, was a little bit more wobbly. So you want to start with this one. What you do, put this up in there, line it up. Jeez, get your camera right. Line it up so it's nice, snug everything up, and then it should be aligned. I mean, that's awesome. I was scared I was going to have to Measure from this firewall point to this, to this, to that. I don't have to, that's sweet. So we will. I'll come on this side. I'll go on this side, get that socket up into place. If I gotta, if I gotta tweak it a bit, I can just stick my big punch in there and line it up better. And it's just gonna be a little bit back and forth here and make sure everything's good and snug her down. And I think you said it's 95 foot pounds. 
for torquing down these mounts. Now, it's I read a forum too where it's hard to find the actual Pontiac one. One guy said 150 foot pounds, which sounds kind of too much to me, considering these nuts are just in sheet metal. I don't want to spin that nut in there. So I'm going to go 95 foot pounds, like uh, he said, on VVG Firebird Restoration Station. And then after, I don't know, X amount of miles of driving, I'll check it again. Uh, after driving a little while, <laughs> when the time finally comes, I'm going to do a once through on this. And this, that'll be one of the things I'll have to check. So, but yeah, that's, this works. That's a win, man. No, no measuring. How do you beat that? All right, there you go. I actually had two quarter inch Craftsman 716 drive sockets. So, uh, what, 716 quarter inch drive sockets there. <laughs> but uh, I think I've got it pretty parallel, or not parallel. Well, parallel with a bushing. It's kind of what I did. It looks perpendicular, you know, squared up to the mount. Pretty happy with that. I just did. I just eyeballed it and I just made sure, oh yeah, look at that. That's. Sure, it looks squared up there with the bushing, or parallel with the bushing. If that's squared up, which knock on wood, it should be. Same thing with that one. I am, I'm gonna tighten down these front ones. And we'll tighten down the back, check them again. And then, uh, call this sucker on. Awesome! Just like that. <laughs> yeah! It's all torqued. Nothing else holding the car up except those two jacks and the two wheels up front. Oh, dude, I got it torqued down and everything. <laughs> I know some of you are probably thinking, you shut up about the engine and tranny and Well, I still got some work to do with that to get it ready. But then, too, I just... Look at, look at on that side, everything is crammed. And I try, like to get my wife's car in here. I have not been able to do that for almost a week now because I've been messing with all this. So it's, it's worth it. I know it's gonna be a little bit more work to do it this way, but you know what? I'd rather have the room be able to walk around this thing. Look at this, look at all this room I got now. So yeah, that does, that feels good. That feels so good. Look at that thing. Oh, it feels good to have the thing back on the ground. Yes! <laughs> yes, I'm just that much closer to getting it done. I know I've got a long ways to go, but think how far I've come with this thing. It's awesome. It's awesome. She's solid again. And it's got two wheels. Only two more to go. So... That'll be, that'll be next time. Try to get that rear end under here. And, oh man, I'm gonna, I think I might buy tires for this thing too. Yeah, it's time. Sweet. Anyway, you know what? Let's end it on a high note. I'm gonna call this an episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe, you'd be my hero. I would really appreciate it, so. Uh, if you comment too, I'm slow to comments per usual, but I'll get to them. So, uh, but thank you again for everyone for your support. It is appreciated. Till next time, take care.